A city landscape hardly ever invokes images of tomato and lettuce leaves. However, this soon might be changing. Bright Farm Systems designs eco-friendly hydroponic structures for city rooftops. Hydroponics is an agricultural method of growing plants without soil. It's not a new technology, however, cities have avoided it until now because of space limitations and cost restrictions. The firm uses green technologies to design systems that can utilize city roof space to capture heat and also rainwater for urban farming. There is no reason for New York to be importing tomatoes grown in uh, Mexico and Canada to New York when the technology exists, the rooftop space exists, and the consumers exist. The science barge became the first prototype to breathe life into these designs. This urban farm is now afloat on the Hudson River in Yonkers. The United States of America is ready for a green economy and a green future, literally with the vegetables and and greenhouses. The project showcases the latest green technologies available right now. Solar panels and wind turbines generate electricity for the barge. Captured rainwater is stored in special tanks to water vegetables and plants later. The barge can grow tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers and peppers without any soil. Rock wool is used instead. It's made from heated basaltic rock that spun into cotton candy-like fibers that can retain nutrients and moisture. Aquahydroponics is a hydroponic system that uses crayfish and special bacteria to naturally turn fish waste into nitrogen. And the reason that hydroponics is so successful and why it can be used in cities is it's seven times more efficient than growing in the earth. There are absolutely no chemical pesticides, just ladybugs protecting tomato plants and lettuce. New York Sunworks studies indicate that there is enough rooftop space in the five boroughs to grow fresh vegetables for the entire city of New York. How soon this will become reality is unknown, but one thing remains for sure. Green technology is going to stay in the future of the Big Apple. This is Sergey Vonin for NBC News, New York Film Academy.